Module 8, Scrum. Safety is paramount at a Scrum. It is a potentially serious injury phase of the game. The Scrum formation and engagement laws must be strictly complied with to minimise the risk of serious injury. Scrum formation. A referee must make a mark. The scrum is formed at the mark. Eight players from each team shall be required to form a scrum. Note, no closer than five metres to the touch or goal lines. And if for any reason team numbers are reduced, the number of players in the scrum must remain equal. Scrum formation referee action. Check that the players assemble one arm's length apart, that the feet of the front rowers are shoulder width apart, that the feet, shoulders and hips of the players are square to each other, that the props and the hooker firmly bind together, that the shoulders of the front row players must not be lower than their hips. Locks bind tightly together and then to their props. All loose forwards bound tightly to their locks and the number eight between the lock. And finally, check that all spines are in line. Scrum engagement on the crouch. Check that the prop shoulders are not lower than their hip. Ensure that their heads are in the space of the opposition, i.e. no head on head. Wait for stillness and steady from all players before making the next call. Scrum engagement, bind. Check that the props' shoulders are not lower than their hips. Check that their heads are in the space of the opposition, i.e. no head on head. Check that the loose head binds underneath the tight head on the back or the side, not on his arm. And check that the tight head binds over the top of the loose head on the back or the side, not on the arm. Ensure that the heads remain disengaged i.e. no full engagement at the bind. Check that their heads are up and they're looking ahead. Check that their spines are all in line and wait for stillness and steady from all players before making the next call. Scrum engagement set. Check that their heads engage together and at the same time. Check that the pressure is equal from the both teams so that neither team moves their side forward. Check that the scrum and check that the scrum is steady and square before allowing the halfback to feed the ball. Ensure that you give the halfback a non-verbal indication to feed the ball credibly. Problem identification. A mismatched front row will create problems for you. Likewise if players put their chins tucked onto their chest or if any of the front rowers duck their shoulders below their hips, or if players stand up during the engagement process, or where players are pushed or popped up. Blow the whistle immediately should any of these occur. If it looks dangerous, stop it. Some other factors. Ensure that the ball is fed immediately you indicate to the halfback to do so. No wheeled scrums beyond 45 degrees. No pushing beyond 1.5 meters. All participants remain bound until the ball emerges and the ball is not held in the scrum for a prolonged period of time. Pre-match briefing. Include both forward packs, halfbacks and reserves. Check who has previously played in the front row. Explain how you will make a mark, where they are to assemble, what you will look for on the three calls, and when the halfback can feed the ball. Here is an example of a pre-match briefing. Okay, lads, uh, just so I know who I'm talking to, who are the props? Hookers? Halfback. So it is, lads. Okay, three calls, three actions today. You understand that? On crouch, you come down, heads and gaps, okay? Not necessarily ear to ear, but heads and gaps. If you're stable, then I'll be happy to call bind. Nice and high up on the side or back, preferably on the back, just staying off that arm, especially your tight heads. Uh, otherwise, if again, if you're stable, then I'll be happy to call set, okay? And on that set, you come together, hoping there's a gap so there is movement on set. Otherwise, uh, from there, we're waiting for the half to get the ball in, and he's only going to do that if it's stable. So if there's one word to worry about today, it's stability. Okay, half back, you'll get a nod or a tap on the back to say when the ball goes in and just get it in straight away. Don't muck around. Is that good? Yep. Otherwise, lads, when you head back to the change room, just make sure you get those mouth guards sorted before you head on out, eh? Yep. Good. Thank you.
Safety is paramount. If scrums become unsafe, uncontested scrums must be applied. This brings us to the end of Module 8. Please now take a moment to complete the assessment on page 28 of your workbook. Coming up, Module 9, Line Out.